Unit Number 9 Class First Year Textbook English Unit Name The White Lamb Video Part Number 2 The White Lamb Author Ciro Kanzadian Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. He nodded approvingly at the sound. He then went over to the fig tree. Climbed it with difficulty and began picking the honey-sweet fruit. That had been pecked at here. And there by the birds. He chose the figs and packed them gently into a bright woven basket. Then Navasard set out along the bank to where a six-month-old white the lamb was grazing. He was saving the lamb for a special occasion. Our shack has come home. I've finally lived to see the day. Navasard said to himself and untethered the lamb. It bleated loudly. Let's go, fellow. Navasard said. Come on, our shack's home. He climbed the steep path to the village. The heavy basket pressed on his shoulders, while the meek and gentle lamb either ran on ahead or fell behind him. Where are you going so early in the day? The people he met on the way asked. Our shack has come home for a visit, the old man would reply proudly. On the way each tree and bush, each stone and spring reminded. Him of our shack's childhood. Many were the times that he carried the child. Up the steep path on his back. He would sit down to rest on this stone. Navasard would give our shack a pair and would wipe his nose with the hem of his long jacket. There was the spring which our shack liked to drink from. Navasard would cup his hands and our shack would drink from them. Here was the small orchard. The trees still bore fruit abundantly and stayed green far into the autumn. When our shack was eleven, he fell from that cherry tree and broke his leg. Navasard carried him the many miles to the doctor in the distant settlement. Then Navasard thought of all the things he had sold to outfit. Our shack for the city life when he had sent the boy off to study. It had been a long stretch, but our shack graduated from the university and had then gone on to study in Moscow. He had risen high in the world. Navasard would often tell his fellow villagers about the very important work our shack was doing in the capital, about his grand car, and that he lived in the biggest house in Moscow. The old man was in a hurry to reach the village, the meek and timid lamb followed on his heels. He finally reached his house but did not see our shack's car outside. Why didn't he drive right up? Navasard wondered. Ah, what I'm talking about. The gravel's too sharp here. He was probably afraid he'd ruin his tires. It's good he didn't drive up to the house. His single-story flat-roofed house with a terrace and an earthen floor was like an eagle's nest stuck onto the mountain slope one among many others. Next coming video. The White Lamb Part Number 3 Reading with Urdu Translation Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.